He's a way maker. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Promise keeper. Light in the dark. That's who he is. That's what he does. And it's because of his incredible love that he does it. Hallelujah. Yes, the way we miracle work. Yes. Promise keeper. <laughs> There's never been a promise that God hasn't kept that did not have conditions on it. Amen. When God makes a promise without condition, He always keeps it. And the only ones he does not keep are the ones that we don't meet the condition. Yes. Oh, I got quiet in here already. Come on, come on. Amen, somebody. Amen. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Jesus, help us. Thank you, Lord. It's a joy to be in this house on this last day of 2017. Yes. To worship the Lord with all of you. And to magnify his incredible name and to give him the glory that's due him. This is awesome to be able to spend this time together and worship our great king. Father, we thank you. For loving us beyond what we can comprehend. We don't fully understand why. We understand what we deserve. But you decided to have mercy and to shower grace upon us and take all of our stuff and lay it on your son and him die in our stead. Because you decided you wanted to have a relationship with us for all of eternity. Yes, yes. And that was the only way that that could happen. Yes. In this life and in these bodies, we could never comprehend well enough or thank you sufficiently for all that you have done. But God, we're asking you to help us to live with grateful hearts to show that we appreciate what you have done in through your son. We bless your name today and simply invite you to speak into our lives for your glory. Yes. That every word that we share may come from your heart and from your mouth. Because we are confident that it will not return to you void, but will accomplish that which you please and prosper in the thing whereto you sent it. Minister to us and through us for your glory. And let us embrace the truth of your word as people that will not only be hearers, but doers of the truth that we have heard. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Jesus. I'm going to share from the theme starting well. Starting well. <laughs> you got a much better chance in making it if you start well. Amen. 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 I found out a long time ago in the navigational world that if you're traveling a long distance, if you start out with just one-tenth of a degree off, by the time you travel the miles to get to your destination, you could be a thousand miles away from your destination That's right. because you did not start well. That's right. All right. And so I believe that the Lord would have me to share uh, this uh, with all of you uh, this year because I'm confident that every person in here wants to have a great year. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Yes. 
few of you haven't woken up yet, so you never heard, you never heard the question. Uh, I believe that all of us, I'll, I'll speak for you. You don't have to say it, and I'll speak for you. We all want to have a great year this year. Amen. Amen. How many of you started out thinking this morning when you woke up, 2017 is just about done, and I really want to fail miserably in 18. <laughs> You don't wake up thinking that way. No, no. You wake up thinking you want to have a great year this year. 2017 is all but behind us. That's right. And there is nothing that lies behind us that we can change. Amen. It's done. It's done. Come on, tell your neighbor it's it's done. Yes, you can't change what you already did. It's done. However, 2018 affords us endless possibilities and wonderful opportunities to magnify our great King and advance His great cause in the earth. There is really only one way that this can happen. Did you hear what I said? I'm going to say it again because I want you to get this. There is only really one way to really honor God and advance His great cause in the earth. And it is by becoming more deeply connected to Him. Amen. 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 Do you know of another way? No. no. Then I should have gotten a larger amen. Amen. <laughs> Intimacy with God. Listen to me carefully. You might want to write this down. Intimacy with God is everything. Amen. 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 Yes, it is. Amen. Come on. Intimacy with God is everything. Everything. And any significant spiritual outcome or result is birthed by it and through it. Right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You are not going to do anything in 2018 that is significant apart from being intimately connected with God. Amen. 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 Right. True. So intimacy with God is everything, and everything in Scripture is leading us toward that eventuality. That's right. That's right. Everything that is, is, is propagated in Scripture is helping us to learn to desire that as our ultimate goal, yeah. is intimacy with God. There is absolutely no substitute for it. Amen. That's right. People try. Yes, they do. Whole churches try. Come on now. But there is nothing like intimacy with God Amen. to accomplish things on the earth that nothing else could. One of the greatest ways of truly connecting with God and building intimacy is through a season of consecration. All right. All right. Yes, mm -hmm. That may be a new word for some of you. <laughs> consecration. All right now. 21st century church thinks that's some part of the Old Testament. All right now. Consecration mm -hmm. is so important for believers that after I finish sharing what I'm sharing, I hope that it will become important to every person that's under the sound of my voice, whether you're listening by streaming or whether you're here presently. Consecration is one of the critical, irreplaceable, non-substitutional things that we have to give attention to. You are not going to make it in 2018 and do anything significant apart from consecrating yourself to God. Amen. You don't have to worry about anybody pulling the lights down today. <laughs> this is not going to be a shouted message. I will challenge you to do differently in 2018. Okay? I want you to know that there's no substitute for it. 
Consecrations are given prominence in both the Old Testament and the New Testament. At times they are commanded by God and at other times they are entered into voluntarily for various purposes. When entered into with the right heart, mm -hmm. with the right attitude, and for the right reason, the result is always wonderfully positive. Mm -hmm. Amen. I want you to hear me now. There is no consecration ever entered into where the people have the right heart, the right mind, and they entered into it for the right reason that there wasn't a positive outcome. Amen. Many of you have invested money in a number of different things. Is that right? Stocks, shares, mutual funds, annuities, a whole lot of stuff. All right now. Did you always have a positive outcome? No. No, let me answer for you. No. No. Amen. Amen. In the last crash that happened around 2008, oh, that's right. That's right. I don't think even one of us had a positive outcome. Come on. <laughs> Boy, it's getting quiet in here. Right? What happened? You right past it. We have the opportunity to participate in something where there is always a positive outcome. Amen. There is an investment that you can make that will always turn out right. That's right. That's right. That's it. Come on now. Boy, I tell you. That's all right, Pastor. Come on with it. Pastor Howell, did you ever preach and feel like you're at the Apollo and things are not going well? <laughs> Some messages are tough to preach, but you got to do what God tells you to do. Come on now. I said when entered into with the right heart and with the right attitude and for the right reason.